Fake and classless, a disgusting hatchet job featuring human scum written by a lowlife and talentless hack. That was Donald Trump's verdict on a biopic of his early life. He didn't like it much, did he? Well, some American distributors steered clear, but it had its British premiere in London this evening. The two stars told us it is fair to say Mr. Trump, uh, it is fair to Mr. Trump and does not try to demonise him. Donald Trump is getting a lesson in self-promotion. Uh, I'm planning on making it the, the best uh, and the finest building in, in the city, maybe, maybe the country, in the world. And his teacher is his corrupt lawyer, Roy Cohn. Roy Cohn, nice to meet you. The Roy Cohn, you're brutal. Guilty as charged. <laughs> the Apprentice tells the story of the former president's time in US real estate in the 70s and 80s, and how Trump became the man both worshipped and vilified today. It is not a film he would like anyone to see, reacting online about the filmmakers on the day I meet the cast. I mean, he has released a, a statement today on his social media calling it f the film fake and classless. His team have said it's political election interfering by Hollywood elites. But that's just all lies. That's what I find so dangerous about his statement because half of my country believes it. But in fact, it's not fake, it's based on real history. I think it's really disconcerting and I think it's really tragic that, that we're willing to write off history just as long as it's convenient for us. He feels uh, maligned or threatened by something in it to the point that he used the phrase human scum, he called us human scum. It was Roy Cohn who taught Trump to never admit defeat as the would-be property tycoon set about building Trump Tower in New York. All right, come on. The film depicts his rise, but also a harrowing rape based on a claim from his former wife, Ivana. He denied this and she later retracted the claim. Amid legal threats from Trump's team, many U.S. distributors turned The Apprentice down. Now the studios and the streamers were all afraid to touch this movie. So it was re the fact that it was released at all is slightly miraculous. I think it's scary that we, we're, we're seeing fear inform decisions now on, on, on every level. And, and I think we have this responsibility as actors, as artists, to, to keep reflecting the times that we're in as honestly as possible. And I'm going to just put this on the table right now. I think we're going to be talking about this movie for a hell of a lot longer than Donald Trump will be around. Tonight, The Apprentice had its UK premiere after opening in the US last week when a distributor at last came forward. Audiences here and then voters there can now make their own minds up. Nina Nanar, News at 10.